Entering the egg stage, the egg looks like a grain of white jasmine rice. The egg resides in the open wounds and or natural openings of the dead body. Along with its 250 or so brothers and sisters. The egg does not eat and mostly remains quite still and boring. Within 24 hours the eggs hatch into adorable little maggots. The first instar is the first and littlest stage of the maggot. Their personality is just beginning to shine and we have chosen to name them Kevin. Kevin looks like a whitish grub with little mouth hooks for eating in the front. And two spiracles in the back with one breathing slit each. Kevin enjoys eating fluids from the body and has made a hobby of burrowing into the corpse. Kevin likes to spit bacteria onto whatever they are eating so it liquefies and turns into a delicious soup. When Kevin eats the soup it goes through their simple digestive tract. So easy. Kevin burrows into the body and after about a day they molt into Instar 2. What fun! Kevin looks much like their first Instar except they are slightly larger and have two breathing slits for each spiracle on their bottom instead of just one. Kevin is now inside the body and has joined the maggot mass. So many new friends. Kevin dines on a fine diet of tender rotting flesh, a delicacy among children flies. Second Instar takes only a day to complete and Kevin soon molts again into third Instar. Kevin now looks like a much larger version of Themself a day ago. And get this, they now have three breathing slits for each spiracle. Kevin remains within their group of friends and continues feeding on the flesh of the body like a happy maggot should. Be careful Kevin, many other creatures want to eat you. These include beetles, spiders, frogs, birds and a type of maggot that likes to eat other maggots. After two days the third instar is complete and Kevin is ready to become a pupa. Kevin has migrated from the body in search for a safe place to be a pupa. They prefer somewhere dry and hidden, for example some soil or a blanket in a garage. Kevin now resembles a tiny brown cigar. We applaud them in their new choice of outfit. Kevin does not eat or move for 10 days during this stage, which brings a whole new meaning to couch potato. They are reconstructing themselves inside the puparium to become a beautiful blowfly. Success. Kevin hatched from their puparium. They now looks like a handsome little greasy blackish thing with hair. Multiple legs, big eyes and wings. Kevin flies back to the body. And feeds on the proteins of the decomposed body fluids and also pollen for garnish if they are in the mood. Kevin is a smart blowfly and watches out for predators. As stated before that would be creatures like frogs, birds, spiders and beetles. Kevin no longer has to breath from but spiracles but has decided not to share where else they breath from now. We respect their privacy. Kevin prefers to stay within the presence of the corpse and soon finds a mate, which is so easy since Kevin is quite a looker. After two or so days, Kevin and their mate will go have some eggs and the life cycle of the blowfly will start again. Goodbye Kevin and good luck.